Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter 5 talking about neural networks and testing of ML models and uh, we just completed this particular chapter and we will be looking forward to have a quick discussion on what are, what are the time applications? What you can expect here? Being, being given that this chapter was pretty small, you just have two questions from this particular chapter, and we'll be taking one sample example to get in hold of it and get a quick understanding of what could be the pattern of the questions from this chapter. Well, the question what we have for you is which of the following statements correctly describes a test coverage measure for neural networks? I think they are going to be very, very straightforward uh, right from this particular example. It clearly says that uh, you have a small sample question which talks about the coverage as a context and referring to exactly to the point that which statement. So that means the question is not going to be tricky, but the options are going to be more tricky than the question as usual, right? So here we need to read the options and then conclude that which is talking about a test coverage measure for the neural network. Here option A says uh, value change coverage is based on individual neuron being seen to affect the overall output of the neural network. Now value change right coverage so value change coverage is uh, not correct because it's a measure of uh, the proportion of the neurons activated where their activation values differ by more than a preset change amount right so that's what is more about the coverage what we have covered yesterday and this is not being talking about that so it is not concerned with the overall output of the neural network uh, which option a is trying to say so value change coverage is based on individual neurons being seen to affect the overall output. Sorry, we're talking about every individual neurons being reflecting that. Well, the option B here says threshold uh, coverage is based on neurons outputting an activation value greater than preset value between zero to one. I think this is where we were talking about, like we're looking forward to have something on the positive side to be more precise and it is based on the threshold, so of course it does talk about something very positive towards the right response. So threshold coverage neurons, uh, it, threshold coverage measures the proportion of neurons activated during testing with a value greater than preset threshold between zero to one. So that certainly totally makes sense. But still, just to be sure about it, we'll go with C and D and check on that. So C says neuron coverage is a measure of the proportion of neurons that are activated at any time during the testing. Now again, it looks a little tricky here. All neurons are potentially activated each time a neural network is run, right? So every single thing goes there. Now, however, the values output by the neuron change, which is better, uh, which is what we basically uh, get measured by neuron coverage. So coverage is basically greater than zero right here. So all neurons are activated, which is the key point here. And here it says uh, neuron coverage is measure of proportion of neurons that are activated, which is not exactly mentioning you that we are talking about everything. We're just talking about few of them or the one which is activated, which is not the case at all. So C can be ruled out. And we have option D, sign change coverage measures the coverage of the neuron of uh, coverage of the neurons that output both positive, negative, and zero activation values. Now, sign change was inverse of the existing, right? So, sign change coverage basically measure, uh, measures a proportion of the neurons activated with both like valid and invalid scenarios, what we just discussed in our previous tutorial. So, in that context, again, that's not talking correctly about this particular uh, measure. So yes, we have value change, we have threshold coverage, neuron coverage, sign change coverage, four, made, uh, four different coverages measured, but the statements are not justifying the measure what we have understood. So in that context, the right answer here is B, threshold coverage, where we define a preset value, which becomes the threshold for this particular uh, option. And certainly this is how you would measure it for uh, 0.75 and higher, which is, of course, a threshold for that particular, you know, coverage. So 
Threshold coverage is based on neurons outputting an activation value greater than a preset value between 0 and 1. Well, that was just one question what we had for you today from this particular chapter, given that it is very small. So just that's the one thing which you need to know. So should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.